Hi there, greetings from New Haven. My name is Jeff Brock. I'm the Dean of the School of Engineering and Applied Science and also the Dean of the Science Division in the Faculty of Arts and Sciences. That means I oversee about 14 departments in the science and engineering world in the Faculty of Arts and Sciences, where you might be taking many of your courses in the future. But I'm also a Yale College alum. I was a math major back in 1992 and graduated from Yale after really realizing almost all of my aspirations when I came here. I was a little nervous about coming to Yale, but I decided that I wanted to be in a place where I could study alongside mathematics, which was my passion, music, English, and to meet all the amazing people that I met while I was here in Saybrook College. So this included opportunities to conduct research that was ultimately published in mathematical journals alongside Yale professors, to play music with artists that have gone on to be world famous, to meet people that have gone on to be uh, faculty members at top institutions around the country, and to really realize a full immersion in a broad range of intellectual activities. And those are things I treasure about my Yale experience. But what I want to talk to you about is some of the investments we're making in science and engineering here at Yale that will greet you upon your arrival if you decide to come here. So in particular, we just finished the Yale Science Building, which is a state-of-the-art facility providing lab space for our Molecular Cellular Developmental Biology Department, our Department of Molecular Biophysics and Biochemistry, and also some labs for the Physics Department. This is alongside a state-of-the-art lecture hall and a new cafe that's part of a pavilion that's really the crown jewel of Science Hill and the new, the new realization of these spaces. Behind it there, you can see the formerly Klein Biology Tower, which I'll talk about in a second. And on the right here is an artist's rendering of the new Physical Sciences and Engineering Building, which we're currently planning to house our, many of our physical scientists, in particular those working in quantum science, which is one of our top priority areas for the new science strategy for Yale. Alongside this, and behind the YSB there, is going to be the Klein Tower, which will house the Mathematics Department, the Statistics and Data Science Department, and the Astronomy Department. And at the top, there'll be a gathering space for lectures and an institute devoted to data science. And then what is just now open on Becton Plaza, down in the engineering concourse, is the Center for Innovative Thinking at Yale, the Sci Center for Innovative Thinking at Yale, or Sci City. And this is an innovation space for undergraduates to develop their ideas uh, and think about opportunities to make them into entrepreneurial activities, to commercialize ideas, and to work with leaders and faculty on how they might commercialize their thinking and develop new, new ventures outside of Yale. This is part of the Innovation Corridor, which is also the home of the Center for Engineering Innovation and Design, and the Greenberg Engineering Teaching Concourse, where many of our teaching labs take place. And this is just the beginning. If you come to Yale, what you'll be a part of is a whole new revolution in science and engineering at Yale that spans across to the medical campus and really is woven through the entire curriculum. So we hope you'll decide to come and we hope you enjoy your time.